目覚めた人ブッダ神の子イエス2人は言わずと知れた仏教とキリスト教の祖である。Welcome to the 21st episode of Takisoba with our review for the anime film Saint Young Men. I'm the anime novice Nate, here with my friend the anime pro Malesh. Hey. Jesus Christ! And the Buddha are taking a vacation together in modern Tokyo, just hanging out and cracking religious jokes. I found this film amusing, although the pacing was odd because it's kind of just like a stretch out episode of a TV anime. As a history major, this film is a dream come true. It was entertaining, like Nate said, seeing these larger than life icons live in Japan and tell jokes about their past lives. Saint Young Man debuted in theaters in May of 2013 and is actually an adaptation of a manga which is still going. Personally, I felt that the pacing and lack of coherent story was a negative for this as a film. You'll see that it's not meant to be a single story. The film is just a collection of several comedic scenarios involving Jesus and Buddha hanging out in present day Tokyo, plus amusing interactions with local mortals. However, I just thought there was a lot of dead air, and it was very slow at times. It feels like a few episodes of a TV anime just cut together with no breaks. If this were a fleshed out miniseries, I think I might have enjoyed it more. The episodic format of the film can be explained with how it was first adapted into two OVA episodes. The film blends them all together into one oddly paced film. The individual scenarios were great, for instance, I love the part of Jesus and Buddha, just go to Tokyo Disney. But there are other scenarios that are mediocre. Also, with it being an episodic style, there's no overarching plot thread that connects all the moments. I agree with Nate that the film medium does not work well with the type of content Saint Young Man has. Now, let's talk about the otherworldly duo. The two main characters are, of course, Jesus Christ and the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. Amusingly, they don't quite act like powerful historical deities, but rather a couple of wacky buddies acting like foreign tourists in Japan, which they are. Buddha is a well known figure in Japan, but since Christianity is only practiced by 1% of their population, it was especially hilarious to see this film give the one and only Jesus Christ quirky anime character tropes. There are also side characters, mainly their neighbors and some kids. They playfully interact with Jesus and Buddha, proclaiming that they are wacky foreigners. Saint Young Man relies heavily on making jokes about Jesus and Buddha, which is fine, but I do wish there were some other characters involved. Now let's talk about the art style and animation. A1 Pictures was a studio behind animating Saint Young Men. They're known for shows such as Your Light in April and Erased, but Saint Young Men has a noticeably different art style than most of A1's other works. The art style is unique as it is more cartoony than other modern anime that have cleaner art styles. I would describe the art style as trippy, which works for how the anime presents itself. There are a handful of nice looking scenes which highlight the funny situations Jesus and Buddha get into. But I was not a big fan of the art style. It was a bit too trippy for me. Personally, I didn't think the art style was trippy, but it was cartoony. It was a unique art style from A1, and I would say that it was rough and sketchy. It has a hand drawn look to it, with hard and dark edges that have gaps between them, like a rough draft or a storyboard. It doesn't come across as lazy, however, just different. Now let's talk about the soundtrack and voice acting. The soundtrack didn't stand out to me, which would be normal for a slice of life TV anime, but I expect a bit more when it's a film. I almost didn't even notice there was an opening theme, but the ending credits theme was alright. In terms of voice acting, I thought it was great. It felt weird the whole time hearing someone portray Jesus as a fluent speaker of Japanese, but the actors know how to make things sound funny, so it was all good. The soundtrack didn't impress me much. Its tracks fit the comedic genre, however, it didn't add anything for me. Voice acting wise, I love the voice actors for Jesus and Buddha. They nail playing their godly roles perfectly. I especially love Jesus' English, which actually sounded good. Overall, Saint Young Man is an excellent idea for an anime. However, it was poorly executed as a film, and I think it was really held back from its true potential. I would love to see Saint Young Man getting a miniseries, as it would solve many of the pacing issues I had with the film. I would still recommend anime lovers check it out, as there aren't that many other anime that just show Buddha and Jesus hanging out. I did like this film, but in addition to slow moments, it had quite a few flat punchlines. I get the religious references, but not every reference or pun was a zinger. Nonetheless, I would recommend this anime to anyone who wants to watch an anime film without Jesus and Buddha, because it's just so unique. It's only 90 minutes, which isn't long. You may want to consider reading the manga if you prefer that format. Unfortunately, you can't stream this movie, and the DVD is really hard to buy in the West, so if you want to watch it, 
you'll have to settle for an illicit streaming website, but they're still very easy to find. As always, if you've already watched St. Young Men, click the first link in the description for our post-view discussion, which includes very light spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of St. Young Men. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a review for the anime Your Lion April. Ciao!